Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're going to share with you two uses of the figure eight knot, and then we're going to show you the timber hitch, which you can use to drag logs or heavy objects with. Here we go. So I've just got my coiled rope. We showed you how to do that in the last video. Just undo that. And the first use of the figure eight is just as a stopper knot. So if you just make a loop, give it a twist, and then bring that end back up. Look at that, you've got a little figure eight. So simple to do. And now another use is all climbers use this with their harness. So let me show you how that's done. And of course, this is not a climbing rope and the belt is not a harness, but this is the technique to use. So to start, you're going to tie your figure eight in your rope, give it a twist, one more, and then come up through. So there's your figure eight knot. We'll come down through your harness. We're just gonna go through there. And now basically we will just follow our figure eight all the way through. Down through. Follow it up around. I'm gonna lay it right next to the other rope. You can see that we're following that exactly. I'm gonna follow this around, back down through. And there you have a perfect figure eight. Now that's a great technique to know, and it's a great knot to be safe. So the timber hitch is probably one of the simplest hitches to tie, but it's very effective. It pulls tight and then when it's done, you can easily undo it. So I've got some sisal rope here. We're gonna just tie around this log and our objective is to make it tight and then be able to drag the log off. Put it over there. The traveling end ties around itself. Just wrap that six or seven times as much rope as you have. It looks like we've only got three there, but that will hold it. And we're ready to go. Give it a pull. You can see that the knot held tight and it's just as easy to undo it. Just release the pressure, untwist the rope, and you're done. We hope that this has been informative to you, and we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.